Will the migrant situation be resolved by Biden's new border plan? In addition to broadening a Trump-era policy to make it simpler to send many migrants back to Mexico, U.S. President Joe Biden has proposed a new proposal to admit up to 30,000 migrants each month. How will this affect the border crisis? The new policy, according to Mr. Biden, will significantly limit the number of people who try to cross the U.S.-Mexico border illegally and will apply to asylum seekers from Cuba, Nicaragua, Haiti, and Venezuela. In an address at the White House, Vice President Biden said, this new approach is orderly, it's safe, and it's humane. Despite the fact that experts and proponents of immigration think it might work, many have expressed fear that more migrants might be transported to dangerous or cruel conditions in Mexico. According to Aaron Reichlin Melnick of the American Immigration Council, the administration is changing the way it approaches immigration in general and the stick is the main point. What is the new strategy? In order to apply for entry into the US, where they will be permitted to reside and work for up to two years, citizens of the four nations will have access to a wider legal road. The US must already have financial sponsors for migrants, and they must also pass security screening. Asylum seekers can arrange their arrival at a port of entry into the U.S. by submitting applications through the CBP-1 app. Those who are turned away or make an illegal attempt to cross will no longer be eligible for the program. Stay put and submit a legitimate application. If your request is accepted, you have access, added Mr. Biden on Thursday. But you won't be permitted to enter if your application is rejected or if you try to enter the country illegally. A long wait follows an arduous trek for migrants from El Paso. Top U.S. judge maintains border crossing restrictions. In accordance with Title 42, which provides the government the authority to automatically deport unauthorized migrants seeking admission, U.S. officials said that migrants who do attempt to cross the border unlawfully will be quickly sent back to Mexico, with Mexico committing to 30,000 more returns per year. Prior to this, Mexico's government would only accept the repatriation of its own nationals, as well as those of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, under Title 42. The initiative was expanded to include Venezuelans in October. The previous program, according to U.S. officials, caused a 90% decrease in the number of Venezuelans arriving at the U.S.-Mexico border as well as a dramatic decrease in the number of migrants choosing to take a risky route by hiring human smugglers. Efficacy of Biden's new strategy Record high migrant detentions at the U.S.-Mexico border have caused Vice President Biden increasing political headaches. In the 2022 fiscal year, which concluded on September 30, more than 2 million persons were detained at the command, a 24% increase from the prior year. Between 701,000 people were detained at the border every day on average in December. The development of alternative routes, according to Mr. Reichlin Melnick, is a good start, even though it is a true return to the Trump-era policies that tried to discourage asylum seekers from coming here in the first place. Although he noted that this may be countered by migrant flows from elsewhere, he claimed that there could be a significant decrease in the number of people apprehended at the border, particularly among Cubans and Nicaraguans. According to Rebecca Solower of Catholic Charities in the Diocese of Laredo, which runs migrant shelters at the border, the new application process will reduce the number of migrants entering the country. It won't be as much of a crisis if everything is done in a controlled manner, she remarked. However, in order to discourage migrants from considering an unauthorized border crossing, the procedure must be legitimate, according to Andrew Selly of the Impartial Migration Policy Institute. There's still a good motivation to attempt and cross several times until you make it if the legal avenues are ineffective and the only punishments are getting dropped back in a Mexican border town, says one Nicaraguan who is trying to leave the country. Some activists are also concerned that potential migrants would not be aware of the application process before they depart or that it might be difficult for some to access in remote or underdeveloped areas of their home countries. Concerns about safety in Mexico 
Mexico's capacity to care for the migrants it has now promised to take back will ultimately determine the program's success. Mr. Reichlin Melnick declared that northern Mexico is a perilous region for migrants. We know that some of the most vulnerable people in the world will be left stranded in Mexico with few viable choices to ever find shelter in the United States. In the near future, he predicts that the border region will experience possibly major anger and unrest as migrants wait to see what happens next, as well as new migrant encampments along the border while those currently there consider their options. The declaration comes a day after Vice President Biden declared he will travel to the border next week in order to attend the North American Leaders' Summit there.